<laughs> my dudes welcome back to the channel my name is Walter this is Oso he needs something we'll be right back all right hey thanks guys uh, first thanks for the uh, channel donations that's appreciated to the moon and back and helps feed the pup and uh, obviously try to improve this show with that, I want to send thanks out, actually, to uh, a ton of subscribers who donated to the channel. I'm going to have to go off memory, because I, I don't know where my, my, my list is. February, appreciate you. Jeremy. Gosh, who else? Um, Ra, appreciate you, my G. Who else am I... Oh, Jeremy A. Thank you, man. Everyone, you know, these contributions really help, man. And I think, I hope, I, I'd like to think that donating makes a lot better sense than being a channel member of mine right now because I just don't really know what I'm doing and I don't know what kind of quality I'm giving you guys. So, uh, appreciate you guys riding along and donating. So, thanks again. Also, before I start, got to send a get well soon. A, a, a heartfelt one to the homie Zelda diecast racing he's he's been uh, he's had a little bump and you rest man relax recover reboot and then you return we'll see you then so everybody send us some vibes shout out to the Mustang hunter too man appreciate you aka Jason he uh, donated to the channel <laughs> donated all he had in his PayPal account that's gang, fool. That's gang. Appreciate you, my guy. Love the car show, too. Love the car show. Um, yeah, with that, man, hey, looks like uh, Honest Diecast and uh, the Dotson Man, Dotson Diecast. Dotson Man Diecast. Sorry, my Gs, there's a lot of Ds. <laughs> uh, those guys are out in Vegas, ripping it up right now, so hopefully you guys are having fun. So slide on over there if you guys haven't already, and um, they're, they're, uh, they did some live streams and we're kind of showing what was going on over at the, uh, the, uh, convention in Vegas. And maybe you guys are like me and didn't have a chance to make it there. Uh, you can make it to the, uh, 23rd annual Collectors Nationals in Columbus, Ohio. And that's, uh, what, April 4th through the 9th? That should be really cool. That should be really cool. I don't know if I'm going, I don't know if you're going, I, I don't know who's going, but if you go, get your hands on this uh, 85 Chevy Camaro, uh, it's an IROC Z28, International Race of Champions, really good looking casting too, maybe, maybe you're not a, a bow tie, or yeah, maybe you're not a bow tie guy, I think everyone's a bow tie guy, but maybe, maybe you're a Ford guy. Get your hands on this F100. Thing's cool, really cool. We got 6,200 uh, limited pieces and all those. So, good luck, guys. Get at man, those are clean. I like them. I like them. What else happened in the world of diecast? Uh, oh yeah, I slid over at Mattel Creations. They reminded me that the Hot Wheels Legends tour is getting set to uh, hit the road soon. That'll be cool, and I'd say they travel to to uh, your favorite Walmart and have a bit of a car show and show some legends. Just 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 go if if it's in your area, go. Uh, and if you go, you can get your hands on this '67 Firebird B. Look at it, it's epic. Number three meatball, it's epic. It really is. Those real riders, those wheels, and of course it's offered in a Zamac because Walmart. That's their exclusive deal, are the Zamac cars. So, um, it's a really cool casting. I don't believe they're coming to my state, so I am hoping, begging, wishing, relying on someone to grab me one. Please. That'd be cool. We'll figure it out. I'll, we'll work it out. Um, so, there's that. So, if you guys can, you know, uh, head on over there. The, I'll, I'll, I'll throw the link. And you can find out if it's coming to your city and time, date, all that. Know what day to uh, get a babysitter or take the kids. 
my kid would be over there talking about she'd be she'd be real honest about cars and that's that's that she is her father's daughter by all means so let me get honest I went hunting and I was in a I wasn't I went hunting because I was bored and wasn't really in a state of mind but I went and it, it was fun it was like a daddy's day out you know so I went to Walmart first Walmart my little routine of, of hunting this is in Missoula Montana and they had some cars, but they had... Well, gents, I haven't been hunting in quite a while. It'll be outstanding to see some new cars. I don't think I'm seeing any. Spider-Man. Sandblaster. Charger stock car. Circle Tracker. Camaro Z28 tuned. Morning. Morning. Looks like there's a Chevy C10. So that will be the one that's missing. <laughs> this hobby. It's not even a hobby anymore. It's a gauntlet. I need peg warmers. Oh, this color shifter though. Mega duty. Just one color shifter. Super stinger. Oh, Batmobile color shifter. I don't know how to think about that. Looks like the price has gone up on those too. Baja Bone Shaker. These are to be considered. That Batmobile. Looks like we got some Japan Origins, but. Let them come through. Because I can't remember. Venture Force. It's weird. I used to laugh at those, and now here I am, like, looking at them. Say golf return season. There's some haulers. Someone come. Nothing I wanted, so this is what I came home with. Came home with some throwback tech decks. Here's a finesse deck. Really cool, obviously. They're exclusive to Walmart. The exclusive things going on right now. Um, what? And and some of you guys who who know me know that I I, I or may have heard me say I'm not in the Hot Wheels skate, uh, the Tony Hawk stuff. And I'm not. I'm into like primitive tech decks. This is an ultra rare, as is the other one. And for you guys who don't know, they let you know what's rare, common, ultra rare by the little red dots and you can see but that one is the one I lucky to hold and the same for the throwback series a little smaller grouping but really cool boards uh, also bumped into the toy machine one 
I found this one at Target, but we'll get into that. So, so I left that Walmart, man, and went to the other Walmart. All right, I'm at the second Walmart. Does look like some deep case again. I don't think I want to dig through this stuff. Uh, empty case. There's a head gasket. Hmm. Looks like it's been dug through. What are these up there? Old Q case. Wally World. What's going on? Shaker. Well, I mean, I love all bug shakers, so there is that. Focus art car. Man, I don't really want to dig through those anymore. Some five packs. Oh. Returning the Mopars. The old set, yeah. Twenty one, yeah. Can't think of something I wanted from D case. season some M2s let's see this van is really cool but I'm tired of the little shorties just make so many of this crew cab Jeez. Fallen soldier, rest in peace. Uh, sorry, dudes. I'm just a sh Well, I don't, don't think that's my fault, actually. I believe that's the packaging. See? I just hung it up, and it immediately fell down again. Ooh, what major red is that, though? This green jump. Come on. That major extra fully, fully connected. There's the beetle in that again. Valiant, huh? That's a really cool Porsche. Love me a Porsche. Oh, there she is. Oh, sorry. There she is. I like this other Walmart. It stinks though. It does. But it doesn't stink when it comes to majorettes. I'm so happy they're stocking majorettes there. Otherwise I'd have to drive four hours to Whitefish to Hobby Lobby to get my hands on some. And this Porsche Taycan is part of the Porsche edition. Love how they offer these. Obviously moving parts, really well done, very detailed car. Majorette does it right, and they're priced right, too, for the car you're getting. Sometimes I think the wheels could be done better, but there seems to be two in this series. Of course, uh, they give you checkbox, so I check that box. I'm not sure why that, why that's there, but it is. But really stoked in that Porsche Taycan. Love me some Porsches. What else did I find there? Oh, hey guys, don't forget to check high and low, because Walmart, that's, that's what you bump into. I checked high. And I found a uh, 67 Jeepster Commando from D-Case. Pretty cool car. Now, I, I'm not into Jeeps at all, but I'm into the hot trucks. 
I've been collecting these for a while, so I'm really happy to add that to the set. I also found... Oh, let's skim over this real Well, I found the BMW 507. That's what I was looking for from DK's. Beautiful Christian white. Look at that red interior. They always go well together, but with new models, typically, these guys are, are finishing the casting. They didn't put the tampos on the front and rear end, and that is the part of the car that's one of the most beautiful parts of this 507. This is a highly detailed, cutting edge design. Just get in the driver's seats and prepare to turn heads. You ain't turning shit with no headlights or taillights. Hot Wheels, I'm putting this on you. It, Hot Wheels are essentially a generalized term for 164 die cast, so, you know. There's a lot of responsibility on, in, in your hands, so be responsible. Give us some good stuff. I, I mean, I'm sure we don't understand exactly how difficult it is to finish that front and rear end. And I know there is a price category, a difference, but you can figure it out. The collectors want you to figure it out. I, I talked to them, all of them. They were all over at the house for a barbecue and they said, Hot Wheels, please do that. But they also wanted to say, Hot Wheels, that was really cool of you to donate to the National um pardon me foundation of the blind and they made the twin mill braille racer really cool Re look at that car it's just a really cool casting new for 2023 pardon me i do have a question about it so that's really cool i can only assume that they donated some money to the foundation of course and because yeah, it's, it can't be based on individual cells because they're all the same skew for D case um, and or international shippers if you find them in there. And with that, I we, we can only hope that the money is getting to the foundation. But with that, first let me say, if you see it, buy it. Just, just on karma alone. But um, what else you got, Hot Wheels? How, how, I mean, I know what it's like to be a collector, border line addict and if I could only get one hot wheel then that's not going to cut it as well as this is a large group of people and their handicap or special needs shouldn't I guess it doesn't restrict them from buying other hot wheels but obviously the braille thing is something that would really assist them in finding cars obviously so do you guys plan on doing this more? Is there an extended line? I mean, I just want to make sure this is thought all the way through. Not just a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You know, one and done kind of thing. But I know there's a lot of things going on over there at Mattel. And you guys got your own bag of troubles. But um, I'm, 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 I am trying to actually positively help you eliminate some of the existing bags of trouble. So... Uh, not like I'm a fixer or anything, but anyway. So that was what I found high. What I found in the middle, middle of the tank at Walmart. It's like a fish tank. You, know, you got like top swimmers and you got bottom swimmers and you got the middle swimmers. And I'm glad I kept my eyes open because I did run across something else I forgot I was looking for. Because originally I went there to go find the new Boulevard set. There's some really cool cars in this set really cool obviously the vw caddy is exciting but um a ton of a uh, ton of really cool cars didn't find it but i did find the 100 year anniversary disney set and here's alice and her deco delivery look at the wheels on that and the card is just magnificent and i do love that these things are you know priced about a buck 50 less than than your other premiums but the wheels are, are amazing on that Number three, Simba. Everything the light touches is yours. That's Chevy Astro. And look at the moon wheels. Hot Wheels, I challenge you. Why aren't these wheels in all the moon eye offerings? It's a no-brainer. This is, this is a cool cast. I'm really excited about that. My girl Dory. Righteous chick. And there's her dream van really cool love those wheels as well and there are two more cars to the set that i did not come across pardon me the highway hauler and the citron type h 
But I'm thankful I got those. Really excited. But those moon wheels, hot wheels, you guys get on it, man. Left Wally World. Went to one of the grocers there and saw a dumb bin. Big dumb bin. It was extra dumb. Skimmed the top of that. Got some Starbucks, large bucks, four bucks. Everything used to be four bucks, but now it's six bucks. Inflation. There's a cost to doing business. So I uh, went to Target. Target was cool. Bumped into my friend Jeremy. Could say hey to him, meet his mom. What else? Topped off my coffee. Um, you get those hot refills in Target, man. What else? Uh, bumped into some Matchbox. Found some castings I was looking for. First one. Bentley Bentega. Love this SUV. Matchbox has got you, Hot Wheels. Look at how well they did this. Look at the card. Got Cityscape in the back. Got this. Got the maroon one. Really excited to pop that. This car. I, mean, I was really surprised to see this on the peg. The Karma. The GS6. Talk about a casting. They did great on this one. All the way around. Look at that snout. Long. Excited to pop that one. And I went in, like I said, I was kind of in a different frame of mind. So I went in there kind of my head down, not expecting to find anything. But I finally bucked up. Buck up, young man. Buck up. And, uh, hey, dude, you already had your treat, bud. You're wet. It's snowing outside. But uh, I bumped into the new two-pack series. There's this... Uh, Excuse me, the McLaren offering. I was going to say Senna alone, but it's Formula One city, season, and they offer the uh, McLaren Senna. Ayrton Senna, if you don't know about him, watch his documentary. And the 720S, those are three cars in the set, or six cars in the sets. But there's your McLaren behind that. Really stoked that this wasn't the reseller's choice, but there's a, what? Uh, 2016 Ford GT race to Castrol and then the new offering with the EcoBoost livery. Both those, the same same cast but different liveries. Love this car. This car was built to win. And then lastly, the, the, the obviously the Reese. That's, no, we're going to call them the enlightened consumers. Enlightened consumers because they know there's a market for this and they resell and want to make some extra change, man. And What is it called? The... Uh, the idea is called retail arbitrage so you buy stuff at a store and resell it online and there's a lot of people making um, a nice successful job with it or career or whatever business and some guy cleared like 10 mil you know but I'm a collector that's I'm not not in a retail arbitrage I'm just trying to get some cars but uh, it seems like so is everyone else Man, what else did I find? Did I find anything else? You know, I have some... Oh, I did. I found... I found uh, another Matchbox car I'm really stoked on. And it's this Japan Origins pop-up headlights MR2. I'm specific about the pop-up headlights because Matchbox, to keep it fun, has a bunch of variations that go along with that MR2. They have four total... The other two I have existing are both headlights down, but right-hand drive and left-hand drive. Now I have the headlights up, right-hand drive, and you can guess which one I'm missing. But I have that, and they also have a turquoise set. So, you know, good luck finding those, guys. It's a fun look, and it's hard to remember what you have, at least for me. But I was really stoked on what I found. Really stoked on what I found. Um... Yeah, that's what I got, guys. That's what I got. That was a hunt. I'm, I'm excited about it. Hopefully, you guys are finding some some success out there when you're pounding the pavement looking for these these elusive diecast cars of ours. Um, I collect tech decks now. I think hardcore. I have the kid was into them, so I'd get her some. But I didn't really know what I was looking for, and now I'm, now I'm a hunter. If you guys are hunters, I'm sending you full peg vibes. Get out there. 
If you always go early, go late. You got a lunch break? Go on your lunch break. Why not? You're a collector. Get in the hobby. Go dive in. Come on in, baby. The water's fine. You know? Hey, but I really appreciate you guys riding along. Um, shout out to all the quadruple OGs that might be tuning in with the homie Chris Thomas. Hopefully you guys are happy. I know that A-Team van is on its way. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. And if you guys get a day out, go hunting. Get out there. Stay out of my pegs, though. With that, I'll be excited to see anyone out there. So as I'm bouncing around this summer, uh, and if you see me, say hey. And I got room in my life for some more friends, especially some real collectors. And... I really look forward to getting out there and bringing you guys some great content. So thanks for riding along. Hit the like button if you haven't. Uh, subscribe if you want me to be in your channel lineup, I guess. I don't mind being the worst channel in your channel lineup. I'm just happy to be there, you know? And you might as well be notified of when I'm going to throw stuff up. So ring that notification bell. It's, it's there. It's a beautiful alert. I, have my, I just changed all my chimes too, so I know what's going on before I... Uh, before I grab my phone and uh, what else there full moon tomorrow something in the air so full moon man if I feel that energy and it might be a day to go hunting and if you do again I'm sending those full peg vibes thanks for riding along guys um, be sure to check out all the links in the description and I got some other stuff I'm really excited to show you guys. But that's coming up later. I'll let you boy. Peace.